Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Pixel and today on the Sapphire Tech YouTube channel we're going to be doing something a little bit different. Basically, I've got a quick PSA regarding the performance variability, VRS and a few other things with the Dead Space remake. Now, originally, I was just going to make a normal performance optimization video like I normally do on some of our graphics cards. However, Dead Space Remake has quite a few little performance quirks, a few bugs, a little bit of stuttering, and a major issue with VRS. If you're wondering what VRS is, it stands for Variable Rate Shading, and it basically means that the engine tries to group together similar looking pixels in order to save on performance. At a high native resolution, this isn't really a massive issue and it can be fairly beneficial, though some people really just don't like the image quality degradation when using VRS. The problem with the Dead Space remake is that when you're using a technology such as FSR or DLSS, which is basically upscaling from a lower resolution to your desired resolution, what's happening is that VRS is applying to that lower resolution which is losing an awful lot of detail and then being upscaled, leading to very muddy graphics. It doesn't look good at all. The reason why this is such a problem is that the Dead Space remake doesn't actually provide you with the option to disable VRS, though thankfully EA have announced that they are working on a patch that will give us the option to disable VRS on the PC, which should fix most of these FSR slash DLSS issues. Now, I did come across a fix for this VRS problem, which basically disables VRS in the game via a third-party config kind of thing. It looks hella suspicious, and I took a risk in downloading it for myself, and I can confirm that it does, in fact, 100% work. However, I just want to be clear with you guys, I will provide a link to the post, but uh, you're going to be doing this at your own risk, I'm afraid. I take no responsibility. Um, yeah, it, it, it seems safe, but... You've got to be careful when you're downloading files online, right? The good news is that if this works anything like the patch that EA slash Motive are going to release, then things are looking quite good. The image quality is superb and it seems to be running extremely smoothly. In fact, I even noticed that the frame times were a little bit better with this config applied. Though, to be clear, when I say that it's running extremely smoothly, I mean in the parts where it's running extremely smoothly. Unfortunately, the Dead Space remake also suffers from traversal stutter which basically happens whenever you're transitioning from one area to the next, or sometimes right in the middle of an area if it's a large open space. To be clear, although these do look like shader compilation stutters, I don't believe they are. The game does attempt to compile shaders when you first boot it, and these stutters are highly repeatable. Basically, if you go over the trigger box which loads up the next section, these stutters will apply again and again. So, I do think they are world loading issues, should I say. I know that a lot of people are claiming that the game is running extremely smoothly for them, but unfortunately, I just don't believe that's the case. Maybe they're just not as sensitive to stuttering. I say this because as we trigger the stutters, you can see a huge increase in our VRAM usage, which means that the game is trying to load up an awful lot of data in a very short period of time, and no matter what system you've got, you're not going to be able to do that instantly. It's practically impossible. Another reason why I don't want to do a traditional kind of performance optimization video just yet is that the game has highly variable performance, which at first I thought was just the game performing better on some runs than others, but unfortunately I think I've got down to the bottom of it and it's kind of an insidious problem. You see, in these four separate runs of the opening sequence, performance can be extremely variable. We've got one sticking around the 45 FPS, one at, uh, two at 55, and then one at 60 plus. And you're thinking, why is performance so variable when our GPU is being taxed exactly the same? Well, it's because the options aren't actually the same. I mean, they're the same in the options menu. I've got the exact same options selected, but they're not all applying in each run. And these individual runs were done without even going into the options menu, just rebooting the game and doing the sequence again. The run with the highest frame rate in this scene doesn't actually have ray tracing enabled. I mean, it does in the menu like I mentioned, but not in game. If we compare to the 55 FPS run, you'll see that the shading is completely different. But what about the 45 FPS run? Well, in the 45 FPS run, there is actually a hero light in the scene which just simply didn't spawn in the other three runs. It makes a massive difference to the overall visuals and it explains why performance is so much lower in that run. If this was just an issue with specific cutscenes, I could probably look past the problem and still make a performance video, but unfortunately, I was able to trigger this exact same behavior during normal gameplay. And it's strange because at certain points, the ray tracing will just seemingly turn itself off, most likely when loading into a new area. 
As you can see, the options menus are identical. There is around 16% performance difference and it is simply because ray tracing is not enabled. Finally, the last issue that I noticed is that every now and again some black boxes could appear at seemingly random at different locations across the screen in a fast flickering kind of motion. Simply enabling FSR then disabling it again to go back to the native TAA does seem to fix it for a while but they come back probably after around half an hour to an hour. I don't know what's causing this, it may be driver specific or game specific or just my system specific, I haven't seen many people talking about it, but I thought I would mention it here. But anyway, there you have it, a few reasons why I'm not making a traditional performance style video for the Dead Space remake just yet. I'll probably look into it once the first patch is released, which fixes the VRS problem natively. Um, but for now though, that is going to be me done for today. So if you're new to the channel, please don't forget to slap that subscribe button and ring that bell so you'll be notified of our future uploads. If you like the video, then please do like the video. And yeah, from myself and everybody here at the Sapphire Tech YouTube channel, thank you so much for watching. And until next time, we'll catch you later. Bye bye.